This is the video for assignment 84, math lesson 10.3. Today we're talking about algebraic expressions. Remember we talked um, a couple of lessons ago about how an expression is different than an equation. An equation is a complete number sentence with an equal sign. An expression does not have an equal sign. It is um, a group of mathematical symbols or numbers that represents some sort of value. Today we're going to be practicing how to make those algebraic expressions. Now in order to do that we need to make sure that we think about words that we know when we hear those words they tell us if we should add or subtract or divide or multiply. Okay so take a look at these words down here. Let's put them in the right column. Okay if we hear the word minus what does it mean? Subtract, right? If we're told to double something, that means we multiply by two. Or if something is twice as much, we're multiplying by two. If we have to share, if something is being shared, we know we need to divide it between the people who are sharing. Okay, so share tells us to divide. Sum, right, sum is about adding. What is the sum? You're adding things together. If we're increasing, something is being increased, it's being added. If we times something, or something is a certain number of times, that's multiply. If something is more than, we're going to add it. If we're decreasing something, what are we doing? It's being subtracted from. If we are plusing, if something is plus another, something is less than, or if we're finding the difference, that's subtracting. Okay, Keep these kinds of words in mind. They'll help you write algebraic expressions. They'll help you to know whether you need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Now let's try writing some expressions in terms of n for the Facebook friends here, okay? Here's Fernando. Fernando has n Facebook friends. Okay, now that n is a variable that stands for the number of Facebook friends that Fernando has. Here's Mia. Mia has 10 more Facebook friends than Fernando. And Allison has 14 less Facebook friends than Fernando. Now remember we just talked about those words that give us clues, okay? More. 10 more. What does that look like? 14 less. What does that look like? We're using Fernando as a reference. He has n Facebook friends. So if we are going to write an expression for the number of Facebook friends that Mia has, what would you write. What would be an expression that tells us how many friends, Facebook friends, Mia has? She has 10 more than Fernando. So 10 plus n is going to tell us, or n plus 10, doesn't matter which order. If Fernando has n, Mia has 10 more than that, so we have to add 10 to whatever Fernando has. How about Allison? We're saying that Fernando has n, but Allison has 14 less than that. So whatever Fernando's number is, n, we have to subtract 14. And here is an expression n minus 14, this expression represents how many Facebook friends Allison has. 
This is what we mean when we say to write an expression. Mia's Facebook friends, we said, would be represented with n plus 10. Okay, the expression is n plus 10. Now, it does not have an equal sign. It's not a complete equation. It's just an expression that represents some sort of value. The variable is n. Remember, letters that we use in place of numbers, those are called variables. Sometimes we call the normal numbers, the, no the standard numbers, we call those constants. It can't change. 10 is 10. We can't change it to something else. It's 10. It's constant. And the operator tells us which operation to use. Okay, that's in this case addition. Okay, for Allison's Facebook friends, we wrote the expression n minus 14. n is a variable, 14 is a constant, and the operator was our subtraction. Okay, these are just to help you be familiar with some of these terms that you might hear while we're working with algebra. Now, I want you to take a look at these five problems. I'm going to ask you to pause this video and to write expressions in terms of n. So you're going to use n as your variable. Write an expression for each of these five and then resume the video. And you can check your work. Okay, you should have written an expression for each of these five. Okay, let's look at number one. Six more then a number, n plus 6. You could have written 6 plus n. Either way is fine. The second one, a number plus 4, n plus 4. 4 plus n also works. Number 3, 12 minus a number. This one you have to be careful about what order. It said 12 minus a number. It did not say a number minus 12. So you had to have the expression in this order 12 minus n. Okay, sometimes those little details can be tricky but they're very important especially when you're working with subtraction and division. Remember the order does matter when you're talking about subtraction and division. Number four a number shared between 3 and divided by 3. Now you could have written it out, you know, n divided by 3. It, it doesn't matter which way you wrote it, as long as it means n divided by 3. It cannot be 3 divided by n, because remember, order matters when we're talking about division. 3 shared between a number. Okay, that's kind of the opposite of this one. In this one, it's a number shared between three. This one is three shared between a number. See the difference? Great job if you were able to write expressions. Let's try some more. This time we're going to use y. Okay, y is going to be our variable. Again, I want you to pause the video, write expressions for these four situations and then resume the video. Okay, you should have written expressions in terms of y for these four situations. Let's look at number one. Last year the price of gas was y dollars. It's now two dollars cheaper. So your expression would be y minus two. Number two, Henry weighed y pounds when he was born. He's now four times heavier. Okay, for y. Now, fifth graders, remember, this is the same as 4 times y. Okay, that word times was a big clue there. Number three, 
Tori's younger sister gets Y dollars allowance. Tori gets $2.50 more. Here's our clue word, more. So the expression would be Y plus 250. And number four, write a story for the expression y divided by 5. You could have chosen many things. Here would be one example. Five friends shared y cookies. Okay, in this case, something y was being shared by five. Now, if you are being asked to evaluate expressions, what that means is that you're going to substitute a value for the variable, sometimes variables, sometimes there's more than one, and then you're going to calculate a solution. So here we're being asked to evaluate these expressions. The first one is a plus 5 equals what? Well, we're going to substitute 2 for a because it tells us up here that a equals 2. If we do that, we've got 2 plus 5 and the answer is 7. The solution would be 7. 2 plus 5 equals 7. You might see this kind of wording on some of the tests that you take this year. It'll ask you to evaluate expressions. And so just remember that evaluate means substitute for the variables and then solve. 4b equals what? If b equals 3 and we substitute that 3 for b, we've got 4 times 3. The answer is 12. Remember in algebra, you don't always have to use that multiplication symbol. Right here, putting the three in parentheses, we got the four threes, it's 12. Now number three is an example where we'd have to substitute for both a and b. We've got 4b minus 2a. What do you have? Four b is 12 minus 2a, 2 times 2 is 4, so 12 minus 4, our solution is 8. And in number 4, we've got AB. Remember that's A times B, 2 times 3. So our solution is 6. I need you to put these notes into your notebook. So go to your next page. We need to make sure that we know what it means if we're asked to evaluate. So our heading is evaluate. Okay, and write down these notes. If you are asked to evaluate an expression, it means to substitute a value for the variable and calculate the solution. For example, if you're asked to evaluate the expression s plus 5 when s equals 15, the solution is 20 because 15 plus 5 equals 20. Make sure you have this copied into your notes.